I had this feeling that Samoa was about to sink any second. I was very scared at the moment. I was exhausted with panicking. You saw it on TV and you thought it's never going to happen in real life, but it did. At that time, we're kind of grabbing at anything that tends to have some indication of hope. The grant came in just in, in good timing to help these people rebuild their, uh, their spirit and getting them back into trying to, to help themselves. NHE office called me that there's a school, cooking school. They told me if I wanted to join. It developed because there was a need to teach people new skills that were affected by the tsunami and then the closure of our tanneries here. It's ludicrous to train people for jobs when there are no jobs, but you can train people for jobs if you can identify where those jobs are. We have over the past two, three years developed a regional collaboration with Guam. We have 30 participants who are, are getting trained in the construction field. Billions of dollars are going to be spent there in uh, military buildup to accommodate about 20,000 Marines. So what really appealed to me with the program was that they had those skills in place, that there was kind of the foundation that you need for anybody to come onto a project and have. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the graduation commencement of the American Samoa National Emergency Grant Program. Because of the NEG, we avoided that second tsunami that could have resulted if it weren't for that help. Because if I had to address the 1,200 jobs that just came to a halt the day after, I wouldn't have been able to do that. 